welcome back to the mix, lovelies and friends, and top of the morning to you. Now, we have Marcy on the mix this morning, and Marcy is talking about the bedroom. Yes, um, she's going in a different direction, and now she's talking about the bedroom. She's saying that she's giving advice to people who are, are already in a relationship or those that are new to relationships so that they will know what to do and what to take to the bedroom, what to eliminate from the bedroom, you know, to make their life more easier and to make their love life more spicier. So she's saying that the first thing that a woman and a man should do um, before, you know, going to make love, they would need to basically ensure that they're, they're clean. So she said that they need to go to the bathroom, wash each other. It's a form of romance and a form of intimacy as well. Um, you know, washing each other, it's um, intimacy. And so from there, you're taking your um, your sexuality on right there. So she's saying that um, basically you have to watch e wash each other or you wash yourself, you know. And then from there, she's saying that you have to ensure that when you go into the bedroom, you're not in a bunch of clothes because clothes separates you. Basically, you want to be intimate with a person. You want to have um, no separation. So you should be cuddling, basically. And she's saying that, you know, that draws your body eat together. She's talking a whole lot of things about sex and about the bedroom itself. So you guys would need to go catch it. And remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, lovelies, have yourselves a wonderful day but you're gonna disrespect me please leave my page there will be no interruption when i'm speaking there will be no discussion about nothing that doesn't pertain into what i'm talking about you will not write anything unless i ask you to write and you will not suggest anything unless i so ask you to suggest i am the only one who's supposed to do all the talking so you do not distract me will you no want to abide by the rules and the regulations if you don't want to buy by the rules of regulation, then time to go. I don't care if one or five people left by you. God, that, um, these things don't, don't, don't bother me. You understand? So, there will be no blogger's name call on my page. And there will be no name calling and disrespect of Marcia. Else I'm going to block you. Straight up. Cement you, seal you up and send you straight in your grave. You comprehend? That's it. There will be no other discussion to distract me. Don't come back. I can write up say here. Say Christopher Columbus came back to bring to bring slaves back to Jamaica again from some land. Don't come tell me say Christopher Columbus come take up crap up all the non, non emancipated Negroes people them and carry them back to Jamaica. Make it turn right there. All I have to do is to dump them off in the ocean and make sure I name them. That is it. That's all. Uh -huh. So, when you're ready. For a little, a little spice in 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 in, in, in the bedroom. Okay. So first, before we before when I came out, I told you guys one of the first thing of making good passionate love. If you go home, if you be at two three o'clock in the evening, four or five o'clock, you must be it again before you go to bed. You should not go on the street. Whether you be at three four o'clock, even if you don't want beard, you must wash up that pussy. You have to wash up. If you don't want to be it, you have to go into that bathroom and you have to wipe up that crutch and wipe off that behind. You must. If you don't want to be it, you don't want to wash up. Even for whatever, you must. But your body is always salty because it's always just a tissue. It's one of the biggest, largest tissue on your body. And it tastes like salt. So you cannot go into the bed and get passionate love without washing up. And you go to the bathroom where you piss. So in case you forget a little licking and sticking, you can't make the man go near him. Steal pussy. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you must wash up. Because these things will turn off man. Because if you don't, don't if you don't got man, yeah, then you left a yard and you whatever it is. And you know wash up your crutch and you want to crutch for 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 name. Then 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 suppose your body holder. Suppose you name a whole lot garlic and pepper and all kind of same thing. And your piece rank and you take whole lot vitamins and all kind of same thing. And your piece is rank. 
<laughs> listen to me. Oh, no, no. Listen to me. And that's why I don't like the body could distract me, you know. You see all them laugh inside, yeah? <laughs> you see? You see them laugh inside, yeah? You know, you know, so I'm black on the door. I'm black on the door. Uh -huh. So I'm just telling you. Well, if you know, I laugh and I laugh, I saw. I saw it go. So anybody like what I said, put some thumbs up. Put some heart. Not Put some heart. If you like what I'm saying, if you agree with what I'm saying, I'm going to ask you, if you agree with what the professor is saying, put some thumbs up. Put some, put some love sign up if you agree with what I'm saying. So because of that, nobody changes. Mm-hmm. So if uno if if uno casama uno uno under some medications and it went knowing you know, take woman vitamins pills and all kind of vitamin pill uno 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 rank uno urine is smell because of the high volume of vitamins and all kind of stuff uno taking. So uno must have to wash up. So even if uno have the water be uno must get a little washcloth, get a little soap and wash up the crutch. Also the man in a fame situation too. You must go and wash off your penis, turn it over and clean it off and wipe it off. And you woman, if if him no want to do it, you must get a washcloth and you must make sure that you clean off that penis and wipe it down. And make sure, say, you examine it. So if you have, if, if that have a, that have a single woman, them you know. Uh -huh. So if you can, if you don't have no place, if you don't have no, if you know, if you got one little yard now, if you got one little yard now and you don't want to take no shower like you know some man have one little room and they have a little something and you know say maybe you have to share and whatever it is you know you must get the washcloth and you must wipe you must it is the number one priority for you guys to examine the penis you must examine the penis and even when a man come from vacation and go to Jamaica spend two weeks and wherever you want to come from you must examine the penis and see if you have no blister and look in any farm away. And you must examine it before him left. And unless you caught up in your ass zip. You must know. You must you, you, you must examine it. Mm -hmm. And don't quick to don't quick when he come back if you have if you have world sex with him or have any form of anky panky. Give him a week or two. Uh -huh. Give him a week or two. And make sure say any man come out of the yard. Or anybody not dating. Make sure say them go. Go give them Listerine to wash out their mouth and brush them teeth. So always, always have a toothbrush. Toothbrush is very cheap. You can go into the 99 cent store. I change toothbrush every minute. I change toothbrush. I have all different type of toothbrush. But if you have a relationship in your house, you must make sure that you have. Hold on. Hold on there. So, I have to, man, me is a girl like this. I love smile. So, it's like I don't run out of, of, um, of, of things. So, you must make sure. You can enjoy. So, always, toothbrush is very, very cheap. Always make sure you have extra toothbrush. I have a lot. I always pick them up. And you always have extra toothbrush. And you must always have Listerine. And, and, and coat any one of them. And make sure. Then rinse out them out. Before they come push them tongue. In them out. That I want a woman who loves to dance at the same thing there. And kiss you no. Know. No make the man come here. Come drop and kiss me like that. Especially if they have another woman. So who no woman not take risks? Tell them straight up and bowl. Can you go in the bathroom? Go and sort him out and wash him out. You don't know where they come from. Do you know where they're coming from? Who no can't just run come pop up make man and push down and tongue and try to avoid that. If a man enough feel, you, no make him push down the tongue in the mouth and draw no man tongue and give him tongue with Especially if you're sharing relationship. No, no, no try to avoid that. Give them chupses. Close him out and make them kiss your lips. But don't be sucking up man tongue. And, and leave it a woman. That's a no, no. No. Close him out. Make them give the lips alone. And, and, and chops and, and whatever. But, not, but, but especially if, if, if they're not living a woman, then fine. 
You can't dwell. Well, me ain't in your tongue business. Me can't tell that right now. I'm very much scorny, scorny. So me ain't it. We're not tongue, not your tool. No, me ain't that. Nobody read it. I'm not into that. It's that that's just not me. So you have to be bold. So when he come home, when he come to your house, whether whether you have to be bold, whether my bad boy and a bad boy, and I tell that motherfucker, go in the bathroom and go wash him out. He must first say, "Say the mouth stink." I said, "No, that's not it. It's just like I, I, I want a fresh mouth." So you and him go straight in the bathroom. Whether you wash for your mouth or whatever, because I'm a woman, my man, I come over here now. Remember, so then go do all kind of same thing, you know. Then go sweet up, then go brush teeth, then go listerine. You are, you are going to make him feel good too. You are going to go in there and do your one too. Because some of them face, they will tell us, what happened, so what happened. My mouth smell white. So you don't need to wash for your too. No, you, you work with him. Go and wash yours too. You say, okay, see, me, me go in and go rinse my one too. You have a demand. When them come in your house, make sure you wash them hand. Because some of them love it. Some of them want to come feel up and do work and something and have germs on it in a time like this. Make, make them go in the bathroom go wash their hand. Because some man have to tell them to do things like them a pitney. Let them know better so them and dirty. Come open them dirty car door. Open the knob on the door. And yet them come in and they want to come feel up. So we have to make sure. If we don't go up close to them and them perfume don't smell good. Or if you go close to them neck. And them don't, and the perfume smells stale. I, and, and you can't know them a bit too. Because you can smell them skin. If it's fresh or not fresh. Yes, my dear. Make them ask them, tell them, said, trick them. Because it's kind of like a sensitive, you know. Because some of them bowl like me, but me bowl. You see, I'm very bold. So I'm going to say, what happened? We, we, um, then where you coming from? Well, then, then you take a shower. Then. Well, me want to take a shower. I want to go take a shower with me. So if even if you take a shower to one hour before or five hour, yes, in, in, in make him go take a shower. You, you, you don't want to insult him, but you must examine. I was, you know, some was waiting if you take a shower. You don't have to go out and tell him say, listen, you know, smell so fresh, you know. Why don't you go in the bathroom and go take a shower? You're you're going to talk to him nicely and say, babe, you know, say a long time, a long time you know, take a shower. Cause you can't insult him in a common and I'm very sensitive. So you have to use your brain. Like I mean, I'm going to say, what? I'm going to take a shower. Because you see, if you don't used to being bold, then you can't do it. So for the people who are bold, you have, to, you have to find a way to go around them. I want to, I want to see likes on the page. Likes, got likes going up. Art going up. And you're going to be, you're going to say, you know, babe, I was waiting on you. A long time, I take a shower. I forgot to wash it back for me. You understand? Those are things you have to say. You take off your then then you take off your clothes. Them can't resist the two long breasts them. They're not gonna resist the, the two long breasts. They're gonna come in there with you. But you have to make the effort. You and he's some like I mean um, me bold. So you know yeah, because I'm used to it. I'm bold. So once so so they know better, but cause so you know if them perfect no smell good. Especially if they got a party and come back and stop out on the yard. You don't know what they are about the girl. Because someone who's a man love to make them man go party and come home on the yard. No, they can't do that shit. Because you, know? you don't know what they are doing. Then come in, toss their hand with liquor. Then probably I'll get one girl out there and then come back again and, and I rub up on girl behind and sitting. You can't make them come in their bed, come dash out pound like that. Resist them. Mm -hmm. Resist them. Cause them out to do a rub up, a rub up and all and sort of something there. A bun and ganja. Then I wish Ross, man. Could have got some more ganja and come and kiss me up. I'm telling you. Yeah. So those are the things that you have to do. So you have to be bold. Yeah, show some love. Show some love and show some crying over here. So next. So after you get the man for beard. And if you can't get them to beard together. Because you go, go together and stimulate the body. When you're going to get the sponge. And if you have a man coming over and you have your house, make sure that you have a deodorant for him, a lotion, and t shirts. It's nothing wrong with you to buy a pack of t shirts because I does it if my friend come over because he can't give me no excuse. You go, when you go to Burlington or any plot, and, a, and a nothing for you to pick up one nine ninety nine, a nine ninety nine 99 for one pack of uh, marina, cheap marina, six well a night. 
999 because you're, you you are protecting your your hygiene so you pick up one pack of marina and one pack of brief how much one brief like two night two nine um 999 or 12 dollars about three power pack you have one jaw you put it in there you have a jaw you put it in there and you buy a spray you buy you buy the, the deodorant spray and you buy a lotion you have that near jaw that is your stuff in can't carry gun no way that is your protection of making sure then you have him toothbrush you have him toothbrush you put it aside that is it you have him washcloth and him towel and you put that aside for him him now anything you buy for your house no no so nobody got take a game and say get along a few yard with it you and then you it must be kept at your house so when in come over him now have no sense and say oh mommy now have nothing put on See, I have a new brief there. See, I have one new marina. You don't need nothing more than one V-neck t-shirt and a underpants. And a slippers. Always get a little slippers too. You get a little slippers, find out what size him where you get a little slippers. Them the something that keep on your yard. So, him have him, him have him, 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 what, be a foot or whatever. You have him slippers and a nothing. Because you want him a deck. So, it's not a problem for you to buy because I do it. Because me have fee whatever. And the most important thing is for you to buy your condom. You have to buy condom. Don't be afraid to order your condom. Go to CVS and spend good money and good condom. No New York City style and cheap condom from a clinic. Buy your Trojan can, uh, condom or your gold condom them and put them in your jar. Be so when they come over and they want something and you want to do something, you can't make them take no excuse and say they don't have the condom. And then, oh, the corner shop is so late. No. At that time, baby come. Because you're thirsty. And kiss you up and do all kind of something. And when you say, when you say want whatever, oh, I'm going to pull it out. Don't allow them to do that. So in that way, secure yourself. You must, you must take control of your life as a single woman. If you're dating, you must take control of your life and do not depend on man to provide condom. And you want it to. Who agree with me with that? Who agree with me? You must protect yourself. Don't allow them to order. Who agree with me? Put some thumbs up.